Hello everybody. Welcome to the Able Farmer Channel. Winter has officially arrived here in East Central Ohio. I mean it's been cold for a while but start putting down some snow. It's kind of pretty actually. I'm sitting at about 28 degrees or so. And uh, here in front of me here are my Dexter cattle. Um, uh, they're ready to get some dinner. It's exactly what they want. <laughs> I got some hay here. Yep. And, uh, yeah, enjoying life here on the homestead. Uh, these guys, I think they're looking good. There's my bull there in the middle, Hurricane. I think he's growing a good bit. And, uh, whew, getting wound up. Huh. They're like, what are you waiting on? What are you waiting on? <laughs> she is. It's Millie. Our cow. Is she pregnant? I don't know. What do you think? She does have a little bit of a belly, but it's not not massive or anything. Let's see if I can get a straight on shot over here. Eh, I don't know. I think it could go either way. If she is, I would think she'd be due in January or February. I don't know. I guess we'll find out. But, uh, yeah, these guys are like, what the heck? What are you doing? I got a square bale here. I'm going to get it down. Whoa. <laughs> Some horse playing. That's not the way that's supposed to work. <laughs> Take notes, Hurricane. That's your job. All right. See here. Cut the, get the strings out of here. Sorry about that. But yeah, I, uh, I've been feeding this hay on the ground here just to kind of spread out the animal impact. Um, the last few days has been really muddy. It's starting to get, you know, solid up a little bit. Um, but by spreading this hay around, you know, a little bit on a, a Greg Judy style on a small scale, you know, just trying to, you know, spread this carbon around and, you know, anything that gets left behind will be put back into the soil and at least that's the plan and they clean it up pretty well really they probably only waste about 10 percent of it so they're awfully happy to have their hay and this is all they're getting i do have a protein lick uh you can see beauty there in the middle she's starting to get her horns if you can tell you see she's got little horn buds on her it's just like her her mom, <clears throat> but uh, yeah, they're happy. Looking good. Last month I've been up to my eyeballs in pigs. I butchered three pigs in the last three weeks. It's a lot of work. So I'm still doing that and um, just thought I'd shoot a short little video here and update you on the cows see that snow on her back that's a good sign that they're well insulated that's what you want to see and uh yeah that's good you got their winter hair coats in and can withstand this cold these dexter cattle are supposed to be very hardy they originated in ireland dealing with the the weather there so Hopefully they can handle the weather of Ohio. And I'm pretty sure they can. I'm not I'm not real worried. But you see they have eaten this pasture down. Obviously it's not growing back, so it's being as cold, so they're getting less and less feed out here on the land. So right now I've just been doing one bale a day for these guys, but I have a feeling I may have to up it to two before very long. Um, I don't know if I said this already, but I got a protein lick for them, 23% protein, so they have a 
a little bit of supplemental feed and mineral um, to help them out. I probably wouldn't do that if I had a larger scale operation, more land and stockpile, but these cows are only on about four and a half acres. So my stockpile is gonna run out real quick. So I gotta supplement them a little bit, I do believe. Um, still my first year in cattle, so I'm still learning a lot. But they're looking good. I think I'm gonna head out. Uh, Merry Christmas to each and every one of you. And uh, hopefully I'll be making some more videos here very soon. Take care, everybody. Subscribe. Bye-bye.